on the last video. Eva, I need you. Say that one more time. I need you. Hey, that's good. And now we finish this. So, Eva, you're not dead. Which is a really important thing. I'm gonna run around here, pick up bullets that I can't fit in my backpack. I'm gonna pick up these things that I can't fit in my backpack. I could pick that up at least. As to why all this is down here, I'll never know. Either way. Oh. I am so sorry. Come with me. There's a snake here. I'll let you have some. Just... You know. Don't complain. About the taste. Wait, hang on. It's beautiful. Alrighty. So, your, your stamina is draining pretty, pretty decently. Hold on here. This tastes like crap. Yeah, welcome to my world. It's a terrible one. Alright, Eva. Now, this is gonna get a bit crazy. You're probably gonna wonder how I managed to survive. I still wonder as well. But we'll make it through together. And then we'll kiss again. Also, please don't stra like stray behind, because you are, and... Eva... Where'd you go? Yeah, that's a good question. Where'd you- Snake. Hi. Could come over here, darling. Come on. There you go. You're like a little wounded puppy. You cutie. Alright, so, really quick, before we go anywhere, make sure these are here, so I can keep an eye on you. Apparently, mushrooms give off thermal presence. I did not know that. Come on. Let's go. You can make it. We'll be just fine, darling. Come on, Eva. Let's go. This way. Come on. Let's go. They're gonna be following us. We gotta move. Shit. Come on. Come on. We're here. We're here. We'll be fine. Just keep moving. Shit, there they are already. Fuck. Okay. Alright. Eva? We're just gonna move. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Hopefully there's no one ahead of us. Over here, come on. Pedal to the limpin'. We can make it. Check around. Good. Alright. We're doing fine. You'll be fine. We'll both be fine. Come on. Over here. Come on. Move, 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 move. I'm definitely gonna have to feed you. I'll feed you like a little baby if you want. I'll do it. It's not really my thing, but... We'll make it, okay? We'll make it our thing. We'll bond over it. We'll bond over the fact that it's really weird. But it's also kind of endearing in a way. Come on. Shit, they are following us. Still. Alright, we have to hurry. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. There's a snake there. Do not have time for it. We have plenty of food. We gotta make it to the lake. I will not beat up boss. I will try not to. Just because you want me to not, I will I will say fuck my gun. I I am We're fooling around, Snake. Snake Snake I really hate myself. Okay, Eva. You know the whole monkey see monkey do thing? Not relevant here at all. Just keep coming. Please. 
They are so close. Come on, darling. You can make it. Ah, oh, man, this is really sketchy. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Up, 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 up. Hobble, hobble, hobble. I will feed you right now. We will feed right now. Oh, yuck. I know, I know. I'm sorry, okay? You want a, mu you want a mushroom? Do you like those? What did you give me? A mushroom. Uh, what do you think I said? It'll have to do. It'll be fine. At least I'm not giving you rotten food. It's just not very good food. Here, I'll keep a lookout. There's another mushroom there. Don't eat it. Mushrooms are not very useful for Eva's, apparently. They do help with battery life. Oh shit, now I gotta figure out which way I wanna go here. Let's go this way. Come on, Eva. Actually, look at the map. Destination's that way. What about up here? But... Hmm... Alright, that's kinda sketchy. I... Fuck, I might have... I might be shooting myself in the foot here, but we're gonna- we're gonna commit to it. Come on, Eva. I know you might regret doing this with me, but we're gonna do it, okay? If this is a dead end... Well... Shit happens. A lot. Especially when you're around me. Come on. Let's go. Really hope this works out. <laughs> Cause... Otherwise, we gotta go through this all again. But that's okay. We've been through a lot worse. Remember that motorcycle? You remember how cool that was? We don't have that. Ooh! I found... we... this is where we started. Eva? We went in a circle. Oh dear. Oh... Fucking dear. Um... They're gonna be behind us now. This sucks so much. God damn it. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Wait. We gotta go this way. Are you? Damn it, fine. Just here. Let me have some more. Uh, you can have some later. Greedy. Okay. Oh, man. Alright, they are definitely gonna be here. Oh, man. Come on. You better be coming still. This sucks, but it's okay. It's a good suck. Come on, Eva. I don't know where the fuck they went. I have no clue. We'll keep a lookout, though. Come on. I'm so nervous. What is that? Oh, those are fruit. Oh, shit, that'll actually be very helpful. I thought it was fruit. Aren't those fruit? Yeah! Alright, good. They drop med? Med. Wow. They drop medicine. Okay, this is where we gotta go, I think, right? No! We gotta go that way. How did we miss that? Oh, fuck. Alright, come on. Keep moving. Is that a snake right there? That is. Here. I'll get that too. Feed you that later by hand. Right, if they're guarding, they are. Fuck. All right, that's okay. Maybe. Okay. What you want? I see him. There we go. Okay. We gotta start it. Oh shit. That went terribly. There we go. There's one more guy up here. This gun is totally off. Alright, nice. Nice. Alright, Eva, come on. We cleared it. Let's go. Oh shit, we did not clear it. Where's Eva? Crap! That's fine. That's fine. Get him down too. I'm over here! Oh my god. Shit. Oh, 
Why are there so many of you? No, leave that to you. What are you? Oh, well, you got your little baby gun, I guess. Oh man, this, this, this is a problem. We should have gone the other way the whole time. Come on, let's go. Eva, fuck. Ugh. Eva, you. Oh my. Why are there so many? Why? Why? There were never this many! Ever! Never! Uh, that's. Good. Good shot, I guess. Alright, please let me. Did I hurt you? I am so sorry. Alright, Eva, come on. We cleared them. Let's go. Holy balls. Alright, we are completely out of ammo now. At least in many guns. I gotta pass you up. Hold on. Hmm. I guess you're not satisfied with anything. That's alright though. So we took care of those. We gotta get up here? We can't get up here, can we? Oh. This whole time. Okay. Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Eva should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Well, I feel silly. Come on, Eva. Over here. What are you doing? Are you reminiscing about that fruit I just gave you? He was just... He didn't seem very impressed with it, so... Yeah. Where'd the other guys go? Weird. Right. Come on, Eves. There we go. You know, you were never able to climb something like that on your own before. Just wanted to throw that out there. Oh fuck, they're here. Just wanted to throw that out there though. That, you, that was a new thing for you. Shoot. Oh man. Alright. There's, there's a lot of you. Hmm, let's see. Bullets, not looking too hot. Hold on. Good old faithful tranquilizer gun. Alright, he's gone. It's fine, there's still some more over there, though. There's also a guy right there, I believe, or is that a mushroom? I think that's a, that is a mushroom. And people are not mushrooms. I've learned that in school. Alright, yeah, staying down. So nice. Alright, that guy right there. Should probably equip this gun. I'd help out. There we go. One down. Guy over there. Two of them, actually. Nice. Uh oh. The enemy is close by. Fuck. Where are you at? Damn it, more coming. Fuck, get down. Alright, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, grenades. We need them. Alrighty. Please hit. That did not hit. Get some more air. I think that did hit. That one totally hit. Right? Kind of. Sounds are in this one. However, that was the last one, I believe. Okay, I think they're all down, actually. It looks like it. 
Is that? No. Wait, that is a snake. Snake! Hey! Hey! I need to feed you to my damsel. That's my damsel. Yeah, I think that is all of these guys. They're all taking naps. Yep. Alright, that guy actually needs to go sleep, though. So... There. Come on, Eva. Let's go. What are you doing? Eva, come on. Hey. Hey. Where'd you go? Right here. Come on, darling. Snake. Yeah. Over here. Let's move. Let's, let's waddle. You want some more food? Here. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Now, beggars can't be choosers, okay? You gotta work with what we're given. We'll be fine. Just believe in me. Like you have been. This whole time. And I appreciate that, because... You know, I mean, you're a spy, so I guess, like, people are really hard to trust for you, and that's... That's understandable. You know, being a spy and all. I would know. Because I'm not a spy. I'm just going off of theories that I've made myself. I don't know which way to go. But we'll find out. I'm gonna check out over here. Uh, looks like it could, in fact, have a snake in it. We will take this snake. I actually just made that fall asleep. Which is different than what I expected. But that's okay. It's okay. Tranquilizer guns do these things. We're passing by birds I could have also made. Oh. Who's that? No one. Alright. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Get to the point. No, he's not. Shit. That guy's over there. Alright. That's fine. Can I get an angle on him? No. Alright, I will get an angle on him, though. I don't see anyone else, though. This should be fine. Ah, that guy. Motherfucker. Dude, these thermal goggles, holy shit. They are so nice. There we go. Alright. I think that might be everyone. I mean, I said that about, like, the Whoa! What? Where? Huh? Ah! Shit. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. You, you are... You are stealthy. You are a stealthy kind of guy. Cool, man. Very cool. You are cool. I like that. I like cool people. That's you. That is you. Come here. Alright. Where's this other guy at? Where's he at? Eva! Put him out! There he is. Eva, are you getting hurt? Motherfuckers. Okay. Nice. Alright, that's it. You did it! Good job! Come on, let's go. Whew! We're doing good! We're doing good! Somehow. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Come on, Eva dear. God, we'll, we'll have a dope-ass feast. It'll be great. Don't you worry. Come on, Snake. We made it. We made it. Over there.
It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Right. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Promise me! Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss, why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert, participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. And snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake. You were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. 
three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for, by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control and the Wiseman's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. 
he was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Hmm. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me, slithering through my body like a snake. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss! You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see what you're made of. I don't really know what I'm made of, to be honest. Uh, Shit. Uh, that... uh, Not really. Holy shit. You'd better run. I better run, actually. You're right. Oh shit. Oh, 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 God damn it. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Alright. Where the hell? There. Okay. Fuck. Oh, actually, perfect time for this. Okay. Where? Are you? Oh. Are, are you not hurt by these? Okay, there she is. Alright, what happens if I get down? I can't see. That's fine. Um, thermal. Can she see though? Shit. Hold on. Change my camo. Um, oddly enough, this is the best cam- Okay. Oh, this is weird. 
but okay, I'll take it. I can't use any. Oh my. I can't. Oh, right, I'm in a scientist costume. Where are you? Okay. Boss? There you are. I don't think she can see me. Alright, let's sneak up on her then. Hey, boss. I'm rocking 95. I don't think you can handle that, can ya? I know you gave me 10 minutes. My belly's aching. Hold on. I'm worth it. That's damn good. Alright, where you at, boss? Boss. Hey. You over here? There you are. I see you. Don't think I don't see you there. Okay. Now. I know I can't... Okay, I, I, Oh, 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 actually, actually. There we go. I forgot I can equip that. Yeah. You can't see me at all right now. Come out and fight. No. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, you saw me. Okay. <sighs> Fair enough. Okay, that does work. Fuck. Fuck. No, no. Hey, damn it, boss. Okay. It's okay. Come on. Get him. Shit. Oh, how did you do that? There you are. You like teleport. I feel bad. Okay, do not, do not do what I, okay. Shit, do I even have any? I don't think I have any healing. This isn't good. Fuck. Boss, hold on. Hold on, boss. Not a, damn it. There's a snake up here. Whoa! Oh god! Alright. Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Right off the bat. You'd better run. I know. I should. You're right. down. Sneak away. Fuck. Well, Eva, I know you told me not to fight the boss, but she's she started it. And she's, you know, like can't really tell her no. So sorry. Alright. Get up. Now, where are you? I think she's on her way here. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Here. What I'll do right now... Actually... No, no, no. Take that away. Alright. This is what I'll do. Sneak out a little bit here. Face her. Now... There we go. That's pretty much the best I could do there. That only doesn't even do half. Fuck. That was a headshot too. That's okay. As long as I just do this cons Where? consistently, I think I'll be okay. Where are you? That's you right there. <laughs> missed. Ah. Fuck. I missed. Boss, please. It was an accident. Here. She knows absolutely where I am right now. I know. I know. I wasn't trying to hide yet. Okay. Get over here. You. You are one tough boss. <laughs> uh, that's you right there. 
That's a snake. <laughs> uh. All right. Shit. Where are you? Boss? Boss? Where are you? You were there. I hear rustling. Right? That's you. I missed again? How do I manage this? Fuck. It's okay. I get down. I don't know how I manage the miss like that. I do not understand myself. That was me, though. That was all me. Fuck. Okay. I can also try a stun grenade. I have, like, two? Right. She's really close. She is super close. Hey. Ah! Fuck. Ah! Fuck. Right here. Down. Alright, this is working out. I pretty much just got a hunter down and stay hidden. I gotta be like a tiger. Tigers are neat. Like that. Sneak away. Oh, okay. She still absolutely sees me. After I shoot her, I just have to run and then hide. I just, I can't just crawl away. Working out pretty okay, though. We're doing all right. She is like so many here. Where are you? You're like on the other side of this, aren't you? Yeah. All right. There you. Where? Right here. Get up. Get up. Run. Here I come. Don't come anymore, please. Nice. There we go. There we go. Did he just? I got bullets. It's other kinds of bullets. Five more minutes. Oh right. Time limit. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, shit. All right. Awesome. Love the music choice, boss. Very good choice. Where did you go? Right here. How much? Honestly speaking. Come on, come on. There we go. Actually, actually, yeah. Ah, it's too far. Damn it, snake.
Give her she's mine there. I'm still in a dream snake eater and I'm putting this sucker on. Perfect. Oh man. Take this. Keep it safe. Don't... 
You're making me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is there really no other option here? Ready to go, Snake? Are you okay? Snake? I told you you could trust me.
Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. I've picked up a few new moves. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva! What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right. Bad. What's your name? Snake. No, not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Very well, John. Plain name. But I won't forget it. Come on! Oh dear. Okay. Snake always has to go left, so... Come on. Come on. Give me something. I did it. <laughs> it's a blank. That was fun. <laughs> Till we meet again, John.
Asla, why are you so kind of cool? What the hell happened? Well done, Snake. The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena Base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. Yeah, man. I'll be all over that shit. Yeah, we meet the president, man. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. Is that part of your mission, too? 
Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. <gasps> Attaboy! Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. 
The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy, and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the Philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning she knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice, because that was her duty. even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot.
rocks in the army. Someone like him to handle our top secret sneaking missions for us. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the US government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss, and that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it, not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive, and she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given, and she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death in your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land.
go But they won't know So You'd better take it all They'll tell you what they know
Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work, too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course, I am always at the CIA's disposal, Mr. Director. Bruh. Bruh. Holy shit. <laughs> I went down that many times. Oh my word. Special item not used. I have no idea what that even means. But apparently I'm a jackal. And I... I did that. I have no idea if a jackal is a good thing or a bad thing. I... Damn, man. God damn. Yeah? Oh, it's the Patriot. Thank you. That was boss's gun. And a camera. A green face paint. Eat. Brown. National flag face. That's gonna really help. A tuxedo? I could be tuxedo mask. DPM and Oscom Desert Camo? Sure. And and then I, I unlocked a download camo, which is something. And some Desert Tiger camo, some Flectarn camo. I got the whole works here. 
Goodness gracious, great balls of everything. I, I did it. I did it. It's done. It's, we're, we're through. Everything's done. We've accomplished our dreams. I'm saving here in case there's anything else by chance. There might be. Or not. There's not. Holy balls. That's it. That is it. That. Metal Gear Solid 3. Wow. Wowzers. Hoosers. I'm gonna leave it on this right here. Just because I can. But. Thank you all for putting up with my amateurness of that. I really wish I could have done better, but that's what you get when you pick hard mode on a game that's already pretty hard. Playing for the first time. God damn. Well, guys, that'll be it. I'll leave you with this. Take it easy. Snake, have you ever seen the beast from 20,000 Fathoms? Nope. It's about this monster that comes to life from deep within a glacier as a result of an H-bomb test in the Arctic. It crosses the ocean and emerges in New York. I especially like the scene where the monster attacks the lighthouse, and the one where it pops out of a valley in Manhattan and makes a big hole in a building. And the last scene on the burning roller coaster was simply incredible. And because I saw it in a drive-in theater, I actually felt like I was part of the movie. It's funny, isn't it? How you can let yourself get absorbed into these things without thinking even when you know it's not real? Distinguishing between what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Well, don't get too absorbed in your mission. It's important to take a rest every now and then.
I'm still in 